Good morning, guys. Welcome back to God's Word. Uh, today we are in 1 Samuel chapter 2. And the verses that rose up for me this morning were verses 22 to 25. And at the top of 22 in my Bible, which is the message, says, A hard life with many tears. Here's the scripture. By this time, Eli was very old. He kept getting reports on how his sons were ripping off the people and sleeping with the women who helped out at the sanctuary. Uh, Eli called them out. What's going on here? Why are you doing these things? I hear story after story of your corrupt and evil carrying on. Oh, my sons, this is not right. These are terrible reports I'm getting. Stories spread right and left among God's people, amongst God's people. If you sin against another person, there is help, God's help. But if you sin against God, who is around to help you? Powerful. Uh, my reveal. Eli is having to deal with bad behavior from his sons. Eli says, if you sin against a person, there is help. But if you sin against God, who is there to help you? What a situation Eli is in with his children out doing evil. I am sure that none of us have had our children behaving poorly, maybe to not that extent. But any behavior uh, from a child uh, that gets off the rails is, I believe, a, a direct reflection on the parenting. Um, I know, you know my, my children have had their ups and downs, but they've always come back to their center when they were, uh, when they were called out on it. Uh, and and children, children are children, but children of God uh, know better and definitely repent uh, when, they, when they sin. No, no one's perfect. My implementation, continue to raise my children with a solid foundation to withstand the world and all that is in it. Guys, when we were younger, it was nowhere near what these kids are up against today. With social media and everything that's available to them, holy cow, I, I applaud them for being who they are uh, all the time, every day with what they have to endure and go through um, on a daily basis. I, man, I don't know if I could deal with it at 17, 18, 19, whatever age, whatever age children are. My prayer, Lord, continue to give me the energy and the words to enable my children to be the best they can be every single day. Guys, that's our job as parents to get into our children, uh, to give them the, the core values and the the, the scripture and lead by example, uh, everything that we can give them, they don't forget. They don't forget the bad things that we do either. Uh, they, they, have a, they have a very good memory. At least my children have an incredible memory. Uh, and um, they're always watching. So let's make sure that we, we, uh, we give them the best example that we can to have a successful life, not only as children, but as as young adults and then and then as adults guys have a great day i will see you in the morning